Now for this part of the question, we're asked to work out then the total cost of this insurance scheme for 15 years. Well, basically we found out, as I explained in the earlier part of this question, that we paid the £200 in the first year and it went up by 12% each year. And it was basically a geometric progression and these would be the terms. So what we're doing is finding the sum of a geometric progression in this question. And you should know what the sum of a geometric progression is. I'll just write it up here in this space here for you. Okay. What you should know is that the sum of the first n terms is always equal to a times 1 minus r to the power n all over 1 minus r. Or you could use this formula that Sn equals a times r to the power n minus 1 all over r minus 1. It doesn't matter which one of these two formulas you use. Only people do tend to use this one when the common ratio is more than 1. But there's nothing to stop you using this one. You get the same answer at the end of the day. Well, I'm going to use this one, okay? And so the total cost for 15 years is going to be essentially S15. And what is S15? Well, S15, when n is 15, is going to be A, A being the first term, 200, multiplied by the common ratio, which we can see is. 1.12, so we've got 1.12 to the power n, okay, n being 15. Then we take away 1 and we divide all of this by r minus 1, so 1.12 minus 1. Do this on your calculator and what you should find that you get is 7,455 0.942 and so on. Well, we're dealing with money, so I would give this amount to the nearest penny, say, or to two decimal places, and that's going to be £7,455.94 to the nearest penny. Just put that in on the end there, and there you have it. Okay, and that brings us now to the end of this question.